For the second time in as many games, the ECU men's basketball team needed overtime to determine a winner. Wednesday night, it was the Pirates and Tulane that went to overtime, with the Pirates falling just short. This afternoon, ECU welcomed Memphis to Minji's Coliseum, looking for a different result. Tubby Smith and the Tigers in town for this one. First half on the defensive end, it's Kentrell Barkley coming up with the steal. Barkley headed the other way. He finishes with the big dunk. He would score his 1,000th career point. That jam put the Pirates up seven. Straight to the second half we go. The Tigers kick it in the corner to Jamal Johnson. He hits the big threes. The Tigers were on the comeback trail. Things were all tied at 60 with under eight to go when Isaac Fleming drives to the bucket and he's going to finish with a nice reverse lay in that gave ECU the lead a little bit later. More from Fleming this time knocks down the corner three. He recorded ECU's first ever triple double with 11 points, 10 rebounds and 11 assists. But in the final seconds of this one, the Tigers down one when Kyvon Davenport can't get the bucket to go, but he is fouled. He would split the two free throws with under 10 seconds left, and this one would go to overtime. In the OT, Sean Williams took over. Hits the big three here. The redshirt freshman finished with a career-high 30 points as ECU holds on to win in overtime. 88-85 was that final score. We um, took pride tonight in the game, and we kind of believed in each other and had a little bit more confidence after coming off the loss. And, um, I mean, we just tried to stay focused. We went through adversity on the court, as you can see, but we just tried to keep the guys calm and just play power basketball, and that's just playing together and doing what we do.